Okay, this video is going to show you how to uh, plug your tire if it's leaking air in about five minutes. Okay, first thing you want to do is have a jack and a lug wrench. Loosen the lug wrench or the, the lug nuts before you jack up the car. And I'm really not that fast and those cars in the background aren't going uh, 200 miles an hour. I'm just speeding this video up to save you time. Okay, you want to make sure that you get all the lug nuts uh, loose. And it may be hard if they've been put on by an impact wrench. But go ahead and loosen them up and then jack the car the rest of the way up. I jack the car up to it's about two inches off the ground, the tire. And then you put the lug wrench back on there and you put the lug nuts when they come off down in a place that you will not lose them because you're going to have to put the tire back on with them of course so here I am taking off the lug nuts and I'm putting them in a spot that I know where they're going to be and then the next thing you see the tires kind of wobbly and it's about ready to come off next you inspect the tire you just kind of roll it up until you see anything suspicious and right here we see a roofing um, screw right there. We had just got our uh, roof put on our house and the workers had left a screw behind. And right there it is. That is the problem with the tire. Now if it was on the side walls you don't want to use a plug. Only if it's on the tread of the tire. Remember that. And this tire has plenty of tread left. Next, you can use different tools to do this. Uh, I had a pair of uh, vice grips laying around, so I decided to use those. It probably would have been easier to use a needle nose pair of pliers or a regular pair of pliers. But um, I had a vice grips laying around, and those work fine. And what I'm doing. I'm adjusting the vice grips so that it can clamp down on uh, the screw and I'm pulling that screw out and uh, just twisting it around and pulling at the same time and the screw is just going to pop right out and see there it is it's out and there it is and there's the problem right there the roofing screw next there's going to be a couple of tools that I use to plug this this is called um, the reamer and you put it inside the hole and you twist at the same time and you might have to push pretty hard but what it does is when you move it back and forth it gets the surface nice and rough uh, to where the patch or the plug is going to fit down in there. Okay, so I'm twisting it back and forth and I'm um, getting it ready for the plug. This is called the needle. You uh, you get a plug right here. They come in, in the plastic and you pull one just right off the plastic and then you're going to put it in between the eye of the needle here and you want to put it in halfway just like this well I'll show you see you get it started and you just pull it pull it till it's about halfway and then what you want to do then you want to take out the reamer twist it out and then you push this plug in until I'd say until it's about nine tenths of the way in to just where barely any of it is sticking out. And you might have to press a little hard, but not too hard. And but you want to make sure it's in there. And then when you're ready, get ready to pull that out. Because when you pull it out, the needle is going to let go because there is, uh, there's a space that's designed to let it go. You just pull it slowly and then pull up and you can see it came right off the needle there and it is in the tire. 
Now the next thing you want to do, or that I like to do, I have like a razor blade that I want to shave off the excess uh, to make it flush with the tire. You know, so it kind of looks better. It's just for cosmetic reasons. And that's what I'm doing. The razor is a little dull. The razor blade is, but as you can see, it's going to take it off. And the finished product should be kind of flush with the tire. So I'm just working it off there. And I work on it a little bit right here. And then it should look like this. You know, pretty, pretty much flush when it's done. Now next, you want to get soap and water and pour over where the plug is. And you want to look for bubbles. Because if there's any bubbles, then that means that there's air still leaking out of the tire and it is not plugged right. But in the end, if there is no leaks, then the tire is ready to be put back on the car. And you do everything like when you tuck off the tire, but in reverse when you put it back on. I hope this video helps someone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.